Nap chaining is a really, really powerful way of having not only more lucid dreams in one day, but actually lucid dreaming during the day. So for those of you who are new to this idea, you don't have to just lucid dream at night time. You can actually have a nap during the day and lucid dream during the nap. And so you might be thinking, well, why would I do that? Well, interestingly, you it's much easier to, um, especially in the early hours of the morning, and I'll get onto exactly how to do this soon, um, it's actually easier to have multiple successful lucid dreams one after the other um, in if you can if you do it during a nap and the reason for that is that if you in the early hours of the morning right what happens is you're usually if you've had a, a pretty active day the night before you'll be pretty tired especially if you wake up at 4 or 5 a.m uh, you'll be you'll be pretty tired okay so that means the, the balance of your hormones specifically your serotonin and melatonin is at the perfect that they are at the perfect balance to let you lucid dream and to make it much easier to fall asleep it's what you call and i'm sure you already know this right in lucid dreaming it's called this it's known as the sweet spot in the early hours of the morning where all techniques are more likely to work with some exceptions um because of that balance of hormones you're kind of stacking the odds in your you're kind of stacking the odds in your favor to make it more likely that you will lose a dream now how can you use napping to have this what we call this chain this string of multiple lucid dreams all within about an hour or two of each other well it's very simple okay Firstly, you need to master the art of falling asleep fast. And I do have a video on my channel, um, which you might have seen, called How to Fall Asleep in 40 Seconds. Um, bit clickbaity, I understand, but it's, at the same time, not clickbaity, because you, if you do it right, you can actually do that. You know, it does take between 30 and 60 seconds to fall asleep, if you do it right and if the conditions are, are good. So go and check that out. Uh, just to go onto my channel and just type in fall asleep or something like that. You should be able to find it. Um, so that's the first step is to, is to be actually able to fall asleep fast. You will need to do that for this. OK, um, so if you you know struggle to go to sleep at all, if you're like an insomniac or you stay up late every night and your sleep health is not very good and you you can't fall asleep fast, then maybe pause this video now. And, and either go to sleep if it's like super late in the evening uh, or go and watch my other videos teaching you how to fall asleep fast. So assuming you can do that, what you're going to do is you're going to set your alarm for 4 a.m. Just like the wake back to bed method or the wild or whatever method you might normally try at this time. And you're going to go to sleep. And what you're going to do is you're going to hopefully have a lucid dream. You should do if you're if the timing is right and if your hormones uh, not your hormones, so yeah, yeah, if your um, sleep hormones, I should say, are perfectly balanced, you should have one or two lucid dreams. And then when you wake up from those lucid dreams, you're going to then go to sleep again. And you basically, as the name suggests, you're going to keep doing this to form a chain, a chain or a string of lucid dreams. And what you will find, and this is what I really find interesting about this technique, is that the first one is pretty easy. The second time you do this, it's even easier. And as you go along the chain, up until the point where you're just wide awake and you can't fall asleep at, at all, as you go along the chain, the lucid dreams get easier and easier to have. They also seem, at least for me, to become more and more vivid. So, and you know, you can think of this in whatever way you want. Think of it like in Inception, right? Where they go, um, into deeper lay layers of the dream like dreams within dreams it's kind of similar but as i'm sure you know you're not really having a dream within a dream uh you'll just you'll just you know as time goes on because it's becoming more and more likely that you will lose a dream and it seems more vivid because you're more awake so you can remember more details about it but i find but i find it super interesting that you can actually do this nap chaining technique for lucid dreams um, in the day as well. You can do it in the daytime. It's a bit harder uh, 
but possible. And I'll explain in a second how you can do that. Um, it is a bit harder, but the easiest way, like I said, is just to do it in the early hours of the morning when you might even have done this by accident anyway um, in the past, right? Because in the early hours of the morning, especially if you're tired, you don't really want to wake up. So, you know, you just roll over, you realize you're awake, then you go back to sleep, then you might have a dream, then you might, you know, wake up again, go back to sleep again, especially on the weekends or if you've had a long, uh, exhausting day the day before. You might have done this anyway. <laughs> um, so it's it shouldn't be anything new to you. But maybe what is new to you is the concept of actually trying, intently trying to lucid dream every time you wake up and go back to sleep during that that chain of naps. So, like I said, you can also do this um, during the day. Bit harder because during the day you're going to be obviously you're going to be wide awake, so your ho the hormones are not as carefully balanced as they are in the early hours of the morning. So it's a bit harder. Um, but not impossible. And when you do it, your the the vividness of the dream potentially will be a lot higher because you're you're more wide awake. Your memory um, of the dream is going to be that much clearer. So give it a try. Um, if you're if you're trying this during the day, a few things to bear in mind. Um, it it really helps. I found to make the room as dark as possible, as cold as possible and as quiet as possible. These, you know, that, that, that same thing would apply to uh, the night time as well. Anytime you're trying to sleep, those are the conditions you want. Cold, dark, quiet. Anyway, uh, I'd really like to hear what you think about this type of video where I'm flying this little drone simulator around. Uh, I'm still getting used to properly talking while I'm flying it, but eventually I'll be good at flying it at the same time as, you know, clearly uh, talking about the topic and it should be fun for everyone but let me know I can, I can always go back to my other style of videos uh, it just means I won't be able to make quite as many of them uh, with this style I should be able to make well an unlimited amount basically I can just I can talk and fly this thing all day long uh, and hopefully the, the reason I'm trying this is because it means I can make more videos for you guys and once I get better at flying this thing it hopefully will be more interesting to watch than just my face in my room um, but let me know, let me know in the comments, maybe I'm wrong, 